With the re-emergence of Darth Maul in Star Wars Rebels, there's a likely possibility that we will see him face off against Darth Vader at some point. However, this fight between the first and last apprentice of Darth Sidious has actually already taken place in a comic book from the Legends timeline. This story comes from the comic book Star Wars Tales 9. It opens up with an Imperial shuttle landing on a volcanic moon. Lord Vader and his stormtroopers unload and begin to search the moon, believing the rebels who stole the Death Star plans are hiding on it. Escorted by two stormtroopers, Vader made his way into a temple, while the other soldiers searched around outside. While they were searching, the stormtroopers were cut down one by one by an unknown figure. All of them were slain. Back at the temple, the two stormtroopers with Vader were force choked to death. As this happened, Vader turned around and was met with three hooded individuals, who explained to him that this was a setup and the missing Death Star plans were not here. They told him that they were prophets of the dark side, and that they viewed him as an unworthy apprentice for the Sith Lord. Believing his past as a Jedi undermined his full potential as a Sith. They thought that the light was still within him, and only those who were born into the dark side were true Sith. Then, out of nowhere, Darth Maul jumped out and attacked Vader. Shocked at what was before him, Vader questioned how this could be possible. The prophets told Maul to step down, and explained that he was merely a doppelganger. Although he wasn't technically the same person, he did possess the exact same skill and talent as the old Maul. They created him through Sith magic, and planned on having him kill and replace Vader as Palpatine's apprentice. Then the duel commenced. During the fight, Maul continuously mocked Vader, calling him a Jedi and a coward who hid behind a mask. They eventually made their way onto rocks near lava, with Maul landing a few blows on Vader, while in return, Vader was able to split Maul's double-ended lightsaber into two. In the end, Maul was able to bring Vader to his knees. Overconfident and believing Darth Vader was too weak to fight back anymore, Maul made a dash for the final blow. But Vader tapped into his hatred, his hatred for himself, giving him a boost of speed to which he was able to quickly grab his lightsaber and stab himself, resulting in Maul being stabbed too. Due to Vader's cybernetic body, he was able to tank the penetration. The same could not be said for Maul. After Maul's body fell into the lava, Darth Vader proceeded to confront the three Dark Prophets, but before he was able to attack them, they all lit up and turned into scorched corpses. Palpatine explained how his shuttle had followed his, and that he was impressed to see Darth Vader victorious. Despite his praise, Vader believed that Palpatine knew about this all along, and that it was just another test for him, a test to see if he was still useful. After he finished congratulating Vader, and explaining the possibilities of bringing back the dead, he ordered his apprentice to get back to searching for the stolen Death Star plans. Vader, of course, obeyed, following his master into the shuttle. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one, and as always, May the Force be with you.